Are video games art? Yes. And no. This piece is called Grand Theft Auto V. This 2013 masterpiece by Rocksteady is a commentary on the brutality and violence that permeate the human conscience. Wow, that's really deep. I'll give you 3,000. So this subject has been widely debated amongst gamers for the last couple years, and for good reason, with some fearing that the announcement of games being considered art, that an elitist group of art critics will sully what really makes games games and not other forms of entertainment like movies and television. I think this is a valid complaint. My perspective, though, is that, yes, some video games are art. Not all can be considered art. Some are purely entertainment for entertainment's sake, and there's nothing wrong with that. Would I say that Doom is art? No, but it's a great game. But then there's other games that really attempt to convey a message, and I personally think that these games are artistic, but not in the same way that a painting or video or movie is artistic. In order to answer this question, we have to first ask ourselves, what the hell is art in the first place? This question itself is still unanswered. There's no way to truly answer something so untangible, especially because art is incredibly subjective. You may look at a piece of modern art and feel something, and you may look at a piece of modern art and think it's complete trash. People always ask me, how can we charge so much for what amounts to gradations of light? I tell them it's not about the artist's name or the skill required. Not even about the art itself. All that matters is how does it make you feel? It makes me feel low. Every art form in its early stages was struggling to figure out what its purpose was. Now, the earliest forms of paintings and sculptures were created for specific political and religious reasons. It wasn't until the Romantic period where artists began to really question this idea that art is supposed to be for political and religious reasons. It became more of a personal form of expression. Movies were considered a form of raw entertainment in their earliest years, but as they began to become more advanced, film creators, directors began to use film in order to express certain meanings and values, and they are widely accepted to be a form of art today. How do you even begin to identify an artistic game? I decide to list some of the qualities that I personally look for in what I consider artistic games. If a game meets just one of these criteria, I personally consider them artistic games. They don't necessarily have to meet all of the criteria. Now in every one of these categories, I consistently expect one thing, quality. Firstly is story. Artistic games tell a rich story through the dialogue, visuals, or gameplay. The story is layered and complex. They often contain stories that keep you analyzing the meaning well after you play the game. For example, after playing The Last of Us, I found myself questioning my morals well after I played the game. Secondly, artistic games are layered. There is more than surface significance to these types of games. Objects, colors, even characters carry symbolic meaning. For example, in Final Fantasy X, water symbolizes death. The bringer of death, Sin, travels through water, and there are several moments in the game where water foreshadows death and destruction. 
Also in Silent Hill, the monsters are said to symbolize the main character's anxieties. Thirdly, artistic games take risks. When games strive to be more than just commercial success, they rebel against tradition. These games sometimes question what it even means to be a game. You might think about such games as Journey, that use gameplay to tell a deep philosophical story. Overall, you can expect deep layers of meaning in an artistic game that reach beyond surface enjoyment. Now that I've characterized these qualities that I expect from artistic games, know that I also acknowledge quality games that don't strive for an artistic feel. Many great games are not artistic, just as many great movies are not artistic. All games strive for players to enjoy their experience. However, artistic games attempt to add meaning beyond the surface enjoyment. So that was just my opinion on whether or not video games are art. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to share it with your friends. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And let me know what your ideas are in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I should go.